Welcome back. Joining us this morning from the Humane Society of West Michigan, their executive director, Holly Guild, with a uh, Friday friend. Hi, Holly. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? We're we're <laughs> serious but stable. I think is what we want to get to. Serious, but I'm coming off a of vacation. I'm like still a, in a fog. It was so like a trick question for it her. was a trick question. We don't know. How are you? I guess you're doing well. Great. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about our featured pet. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have Hattie. So she is an adorable, scruffy little girl. She's about four and a half years old. Um, she is really quite shy. Um, she's real noise sensitive. So she probably should go to a home that is fairly quiet and routine. Um, maybe older kids. She does need to be an only pet. She's currently in foster with one of our dog trainers working on building her confidence. Mm -hmm. um, and she is improving and she's adorable. And she loves her people. It just takes her a while to get used to you and, and warm up to somebody new so somebody's gonna have to be a little patient with her for the first week or two that she's with them but she's a cutie look at that for right she's got a lot of life left her she's yeah. four scruffy is definitely the right term for her <laughs> yeah absolutely. Yeah. all right uh we have a private adoption service we do. So um, we know that sometimes when people need to rehome a pet, it's very stressful for the family and for the animal. So, um, and Craigslist and Facebook ads are not always the best the best option for people. So we wanted to provide something that maybe could help with that for people that aren't ready to surrender to a shelter. So we've added a private adoptions page to our website. Hmm. People can submit uh, pictures and information of their pets that they're looking to rehome. And then um, we will approve it and post it. And then people can... Um, anybody that visits our website can see what's available there and contact the owners directly so they can be a little bit more involved um, in finding them a new family. What a great idea. I mean, people are already going to your website in the hopes of finding a pet. So to be able to give them another option or yeah. another re or resource to find and rehoming another pet. Now, I'm doing some work this weekend uh, reframing a garden all right, in our, in our backyard. So springtime garden safety for pets, because trust me, those two dogs of mine, they always get in there. Talk to us. They do. Um, so yes, first of all, obviously we want to think about fertilizers, pesticides, anything like that, that we're putting, you know, everybody's doing yard work this time of year. So um, if you're putting stuff on your lawn, make sure it's good and dry before your pets go out. Also keep in mind what kind of plants and flowers you put at a level where your dogs or cats that go outside can get to them. So um, cats especially love to chew on plants but there are some dogs that do as well so make sure whatever you're planting is pet friendly if it's you know at ground level where they can get into it lilies especially are really toxic for cats um even just the pollen uh off the off the flowers if they get on the cat's fur and then the cats groom themselves can be can be deadly so keep it in mind use your friend google and look up whatever you're planting and make sure it's okay for everybody Good idea. Will do. Okay, what's this college puppy party all about? <laughs> Yeah, so we've had a couple of colleges that are getting really creative, trying to provide stress relief to their students who, um, you know, are in finals week and getting ready to wrap up their year. Uh, so Calvin College actually invited us out uh, with some of our education dogs to hang out with their students. Um, students got to interact with the dogs and pet them and love on them. Um, they made a donation to us, so it was a win-win, and we thought that was really cool. So uh, we are on board to to keep doing that in the future. A lot of colleges do that, like at the end of every semester try to find fun things uh to give the kids a little bit of a break i'm trying to see i'm trying to think of what a dog frat would be i think it'd be what uh, <laughs> alpha bravo canine something like that and of course really quickly we have to make sure a big thank you for empty the shelter and bissell pet foundation yeah, so last weekend we had Empty the Shelter, sponsor, sponsored by Bissell Pet Foundation and Kathy Bissell. Um, they cover adoption fees except for $25. We had some amazing animals go home. A bunch of our long-term animals uh, went home and are happily living with their new families now instead of here with us. And uh, we're just so grateful to Bissell. Everybody knows how awesome they are and how supportive they are of the animal welfare community. And this is just one more way that they help us, and it sure does make a difference. I, I heard 4,000 plus so across the entire state so awesome awesome yes. work a lot right here in west michigan don't forget thanks ollie don't forget humane society west michigan can be found at hswestmi.org they're right there on wilson drive and now you can go to their website and not only look at animals that they have up for adoption but what other people in the area have up for adoption check them out all over social media as well